Hello Virgo, welcome to your What You Need to Know reading. Thank you very much for being here. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo, oh, that almost came out. What does Virgo need to know? Okay. So, oh. Okay then. So the first card that came out is the Nine of Swords. Oh boy. So there's something keeping you up at night. Possibly in relation to the Queen of Staffs, which would be a fire sign, which would be your Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or um, something that you're passionate about, and the Eight of Cups. Oh, are you thinking about leaving someone? Possibly someone with this fire sign? Someone who is, um, wow, tell us more. Tell us more for Virgo. That's too many cards. <laughs> that was loud, wasn't it, Virgo? Sorry about that. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so it doesn't like my question, huh? So let's clarify. Let's clarify. Nine of Swords. Tell us more about this Nine of Swords, which as you can see, this person is very distressed looking. You know, sitting there, hand and you know, head in their hands. So clarify the nine of swords for Virgo. Oh, we have, oh, I gotta tell you, it's a lot of decision making for everybody. Okay, so it's a decision you don't wanna make. Poss and there we go, fire sign, fire sign. It's a decision you have to make in relation to a fire sign. Not a decision you want. Let's see here. Tell us about this Queen of Staffs. Clarify it. Oh, there we go. The Queen of Staffs. There we go. Could be um, someone. This is a relationship for certain. Four of Staffs is a divine relationship. Could be um, husband-wife relationship. Because the Four of Staffs, they've just been married. And they're walking, or, or they're about to walk through the... I think it was called an arbor. So, hmm. And clarify the Eight of Cups, which is generally walking away. Yeah, eight of Swords, there we go. Not wanting to make a decision. Six of Cups. Six of Cups, there's a lot of, there's a lot of history here. And the Two of Pentacles, juggling. Oh boy. So, Virgo, you're having some issues making a decision, possibly in relation to someone that you had kids with or were married to, and you don't want to make the decision. It's causing you some distress, but it's not the only, what, the Eight of Swords, to be honest with you, is a self-imposed prison. It's not, there's nobody else who's, who is causing this to happen to you. It's you causing it to happen. You know, because you could stand up, you could easily stand up and walk in between around these swords and go right up there to that castle. But instead, cowering with your hands up, fearful of what to do. Um, the Six of Cups uh, is like, sometimes it's considered a, uh, was it a reconciliation card? Sometimes it has to do with a relationship from the past. They'll have pictures and stuff in it. So, um, and the Two of Pentacles is about juggling. If this is a love relationship. This could have to do with uh, cheating. Um, somebody juggling more than one person. So, or it, it has a history because of the way the Six of Cups is about the past. And the Eight of Swords about not wanting to, you know, deal with it. Wow. I wouldn't want to be you, Virgo. <laughs> so, okay. So you're thinking about walking away from someone in relation to this, but it's causing you a lot of grief. So let's go for best case scenario if Virgo walks away. Best case scenario if Virgo walks away. You make the decision. You can move forward. So is there someone that you aren't saying something to that you need to? Because if you notice the Judgment Day comes, the trumpets, 
the, the trumpets sing, the skies part, and there's the path to heaven right there. So you just got to make that decision, right? So best possible outcome is the judgment card. Anything else you want to tell Virgo about the possible future if they walk away? I'm hearing no, so I'm going to let it ride. We're going to get you your mystical Lenormand card now, Virgo. The sun. <laughs> Always a good card, the sun. You just can't go wrong with it. So let's see here. See, a very positive card. It stands for success, energy, willpower, and optimism. So when asked if something will succeed, this card shows always to be interpreted as a positive reply. So if you wanted to know, should you make this move? Should you walk away? You know, I wanna walk away. Is this a good idea? Yes. See melodies? What do you have to say? Take the helm. Be in control of your own ship. <laughs> I think that's the perfect card since you have, what? Here is a card of not making a decision, just dealing with anxiety. Here's a card of indecision. Wait, where, where was the other ones? We have the Eight of Swords, another card of indecision. I mean, you're just really two of pentacles. I'll just keep juggling, not making a decision. <laughs> oh boy, Virgo. I wish you the best. If this resonates, please let me know. Like, share, subscribe, and if you like, leave a comment. Wow. Good luck to you. Good luck. Bye.